Okay, uh, busy day today, uh, making some tools here with Matt and uh, he's just cleaned the fire out, which is awesome. So we're gonna be making some hammers today and drawing out some stock to go up on the Etsy and basically just gonna talk about stuff like that today uh, and also see how quickly we can get these hammers made. So I've punched the eyes already and uh, these blocks need drawing out. We've got some 25 and some, some 40 square to make. Uh, cross beam, uh, and I'm gonna do a fat uh, big boy and then another, this is Matt's cross beam. We've got one in the fire. Okay, so I've just roughly ground these up. Um, these are the ones we forged earlier on. I've let them cool down and I've just roughly ground them up. Now I've got a few little forgy problems that I need to correct. Uh, this one's pretty much fine, uh, but this one here needs a bit of the mass taken out of the body. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reheat this one and get that hot and uh, just give that a bit of a squeeze. Hopefully I get it nice and hot. It doesn't deform this face too much. Uh, so I don't have to do too much more uh, like deep grinding on there. I've also just tidied out these here. Now, I, I should have really shown these before I did the grinding, but I've not taken a pinch out. I just like to create a nice deep trough there. Uh, I think it just looks a bit smarter with that nice deep trough. Um, anyway, uh, I'm not grinding out a shut, which is what I'm basically trying to say, but I do, have a, I do spend a bit of time fiddling with those. Uh, so anyway, get these hot and um, put, put the touch mark in these and then I'm just going to squeeze these out a little bit and uh, maybe fiddle around with the cheeks just a little bit and get them a bit rounder and a little bit nicer. So I'm going to get these back in a fire. Uh, I might put them in a gas forge and then um, do those bits now.
Okay, if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll know that the box, magic box that controls the Massey uh, had a little bit of a, uh, a tantrum the other day and uh, popped two capacitors, or well, one capacitor and a regulator, and I had to have the two capacitors replaced and um, some other stuff like that. And um, anyway, that box is back now, but in the interim, we had to use the power hammer, and to fix that, we've been using uh, Ruggie's generator. He's the guy who owns the woodworking shop next door. So... I've hooked up this cable that runs up here, runs across here. We've got this uh, new switch here, this, um, this uh, well, switch here. And that turns the three phase on and off to the motor. And we've got this extension lead fitted. And this is said generator, um, which is very kind of rugged to lend it. This uh, feeds up into a three phase uh, fuse board and we're running it off a 32 amp breaker. So I'm going to get this started and I'm going to show you the, um, the handle running on it. Uh, it's a bit different than normal and then we're going to draw out some stock. Okay, um, thank you for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, I put this video together for two reasons. Uh, I just thought you guys deserved a video. And um, I've been trying to, well, I'm gonna say this and I'm probably not gonna do it because I do this a lot. Um, giving, uh, giving a bit of extra content a go. Um, I'm gonna try and get a few videos out this week of just me being in the shop and just doing and catching up with things, uh, hopefully. I've got a couple of videos in the pipe that are waiting to be edited uh, or have been edited and they need some extra footage. There was supposed to be a video about me making these really nice flatters, but um, I've got some bits of images and stuff that are missing, so that'll be coming very soon. So I had a great fun making these flatters, so that'll be soon. Um, a bit of information about setting up this workshop now, uh, getting the second anvil put in properly. Uh, which is meaning that we're more productive. Not only are we more productive, we are able to do the courses. So there'll be some more courses coming in the future. I'm working through a basic outline and designing some courses, which I'm using people as guinea pigs to create and design these courses and hopefully give people at home the chance to come here and do some blacksmithing. This is one of the, uh, one of the courses I will be providing. This is uh, how to make these hammers, these cross pins. Uh, this is like the introduction to hammer making. It's a really simple process if you use the tool in here. Um, it will all be done by hand, Smith and striking. Really great little project. I definitely really want to push this course. There'll also be an introduction to knife making. Wait, I know I'm not a knife maker, but I have made those little sacks and knives in the past. And I think that would be a great little project to be able to develop into a small course whereby you can come here, you can forge 
pretty much forge the entire blade and then leave with something that's sharp and cuts and can be heat treated and so on. Uh, there'll be an introduction to tool making, so there'll be tongs and punches and stuff like that, and then there'll be just a general introduction to blacksmithing where you can come along and basically we'll make some sort of poker or something. Right, I'm going to stop talking. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are a subscriber, please ring that bell for notifications because it lets you know at home every time I make a video. And also leaving the likes will inform the notifications. If you like videos, you'll get notified that I've made them. Um, this video is a bit different to some of the videos that have been up previously. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if this is the sort of material you want to see. I really would like to build a channel that can grow and develop and obviously offer people at home uh, the stuff that they want to see. Um, if you're interested in these hammers, if you're interested in the stock, if you're interested in anything basically uh, that you've seen made here in the workshop, go over to the Etsy. It's probably up there and if it's not up there, you can ping us a little contact through the Etsy and someone, me or Ella, will get back to you and give you some information about that sort of stuff. Um, I'm looking into new materials to go on the website. I'm looking into different size materials to go up there as well. So. Just hang on with me, I am developing that and I think in the next sort of six months we're sort of planning to make it sort of a bit more of a linchpin of the business. Mm. Yeah, comments down below, let me know, genuinely let me know what you think of this video, let me know what you think of this sort of bitly bobby sort of stuff. And uh, that is everything, thank you for joining me. Okay, I just forgot to mention this, uh, my Instagram link is in the description. If there's any students in the video, I'll normally link their Instagram link as well. And um, go and check that out because all the things that happened to the power hammer, they were up there. So if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about the content that was created here today uh, and some of the information I gave you about the power hammer, there's some great little videos or were some great little videos up there of me messing around with that. You can see all the sort of crazy stuff that I get up to uh, and all the things that go wrong in my life whilst in this workshop if, um, if that sort of floats your boat. Wow, this swage block is really hot. Right. <laughs> I'll leave the link up here to a video of me making a thing. This is another thing. There's probably a thing here for you to watch if you really want to. And this is the subscribe button. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.